What would you do after receiving the confirmation email from IRCC that your Canadian PR has been approved? Would you just pack your bags and leave for Canada? No, there's a very important step in between. You need to get the visa stamped. We will talk about this very last step in this video. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia, without paying hefty fee to the consultants. Please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries and I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so after you receive the confirmation email from IRCC that your PR has been confirmed, you'd be allotted a time of 30 days. Within these 30 days, you have to visit the VFS global office in your country if it doesn't have a VFS global office, then you might have to go to uh, the Canadian embassy. And over there, you have to submit your passport along with the two photographs. So this is what will happen in the last step. So let's talk about it in detail. So once you get the mail, you have 30 days, you can visit the VFS global office and there will be several counters over there. There would be one specific counter for Canada. You need to go over there and get a token. So after you receive the token, you need to go to that room where the Canadian visas are processed. So in that room, you need to wait for some time uh, until your number is being called. When your number is being called, you need to go to a specific counter. You'd have a screen over there which would map your coupon number or your token number to the specific counter. You need to go over there and submit your passports. So what all things you need to submit over there? Let's just check. You need to submit a nominal fee over there. The fee is pretty nominal and you need not worry about it. I'm not very sure the exact amount of the fee so I haven't mentioned it over here. You also need to get your biometrics done, your passports and two photographs per person. So if you have actually you know, a couple of uh, people actually accompanying you, your wife and your kids, then in that case, they also need to submit their passport and two photographs as well. You need to have a copy of email confirmation of your PR. So the mail which you got from IRCC, you need to carry that the printout of that mail along with you so that you can actually submit it over there. Generally, the processing time is, uh, you know, less than one week or so approximately one week, but it might take up to two to three weeks if there are too many applications at that point of time, but generally the processing time is, you know, less than one week or one week. So after you get a confirmation from them, over there you will get the facility of uh, SMS alerts as well, or you, would, you can also track your application online. The other thing is that they can offer you a facility of uh, sending the, your passport and your COPR through a courier facility as well. You can choose the courier facility or you can also choose to go there and receive all of those uh, documents. If you choose to get the passport through your own, in that case, all of the people who have actually submitted their passport needs to go there. So you have both the options. If you choose the uh, courier facility, then you, have, you need to pay a little bit extra. Okay, whatever you choose, once you receive the confirmation from the visa office that uh, your uh, application has been confirmed, and is ready to collect, you'll get an envelope in which you would see your COPR. Now this is the confirmation of permanent residence. This is a very important letter. You would actually get a copy of COPR as well. So there'll be two COPRs and a one-time visa on your passport as well. So this one-time visa is very important. This one-time visa has an expiration date. Now this expiry date over here is the date before which you have to land in Canada. This is generally one year from the date of your medicals. Now, very important thing that I noticed back then is that the Canadian visa doesn't have a photograph. So this was quite astonishing for me and I went back to ask them if there's any flaw, but they said, no, it is like that. So this visa won't have any photograph. Don't get tensed because of it. So this is it. You just need to have that Canadian visa on your passport and your COPR as well, and you're ready to fly. You can book your tickets and fly to Canada. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click the like button if you think it was helpful for you and share it with your friends if you think it can be helpful for your friends. 
and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.